Uh, given a temperature and pressure, given that it's in this 1.2 cubic meter tank, it's at rest, zero elevation. The dead state temperature is given, dead state pressure is given. Determine the specific exergy of the refrigerant. What? Look at these units. Kilojoules per kilogram. What does that mean? Lowercase e, just like you had cap u, lowercase u, cap h, lowercase h. This is lowercase e. So it's cap e divided by the mass, which is lowercase e, which is just u minus u naught plus p naught v minus v naught minus t naught s minus s naught plus lowercase k e plus lowercase p e. So upper and lowercase do mean something. All right. All right. Now, um, so that's how we, we're going to be calculating the specific. Hey, what does that word specific mean? That means non-random. No. It means per unit mass. So when you see specific internal energy, lowercase u, kilojoules per kilogram. Okay? Specific volume, meters cubed per kilogram. Specific enthalpy, specific exergy, blah, blah, blah. It's always per <coughs> kilogram. That's what that means in this thermodynamics textbook. And in the literature. Okay, so what we do is you just make a table, say that what is the current state? Temperature is 70. The pressure is 200 kPa. Can I get U? Can I get V? Can I get S? Because I need the U. I need the V and I need the S. Likewise, I know that I have the dead state temperature, 298. Kelvin, you know what? It may be listed as 25 degrees C. Is that the same temperature, 298, 25? Thumbs up if you agree. Is it? Yeah, and then the, temp the pressure of one bar. Is that the same as 100 kPa? One bar? Good. You know, the pressure conversions are always the hardest. Because sometimes it's megapascal, sometimes it's bar, and a lot of times it's useful to use kilopascal. And sometimes it's ATM. So be careful on the pressure. Okay, then you get U, V, and S, right? Uh, same thing, you may find that state one or the initial state is superheated. Sometimes you may find the second state is something else. Let me ask this. There's a piece of information given in this problem statement that is irrelevant. It's not needed. It's not used at all. It's a distractor. What is the irrelevant piece of information? Volume. How would we change this problem such that the volume would be very important? In the question A, well, how would you modify the wording of a, the wording down here to make the volume very important. Get rid of the word specific and ask for the exergy in kilojoules. Now that volume is very important because I need the mass, do I not? And they didn't tell me the mass, they only told me the volume. How would I get the mass knowing the volume? You're too good, I should say. Not So uh, the mass is related to the volume, and that specific volume, is that true? Thumbs up, you agree? You got it, right? So let's go ahead and substitute some numbers. So when we look up the property for the internal energy, um, here it's a... 286.74 kilojoules per kilogram for the specific volume 0 0.13639 meters cubed per kilogram and for the specific entropy 1.1661 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin for the dead state temperature at 298 dead state pressure at one bar you look up the dead state internal energy that's equal to 200 
50.61 kilojoules per kilogram and the dead state specific volume 0 0.2378 meters cubed per kilogram and the dead state entropy 1.09755 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin make sure to put in the temperature of 298 Kelvin make sure to put in a pressure in 100 kilopascal and to use the unit conversion factor that a meter cubed kilopascal is precisely one kilojoule you'll need that unit conversion factor here and when you do that you calculate that the final answer is that the specific exergy is 5.56 kilojoules per kilogram